You know, what do you think is the biggest missed opportunity that in, in applications, um, uh, you know, something where applicants just, just, just neglect to cash in where they can? Donna Swinford. I always answer this the exact same way. So this is nothing new, uh, but make sure that you answer the questions we ask and answer every question. Again, I'm always amazed at people who leave sections blank, who will write when we actually say something, say, see my resume. Uh, you know, there's reasons why we have these questions the way that we do, because it follows a process. So just, and I know it can be cumbersome, but just answer them the way that the school asks. That's a great, uh, <clears throat> that's, a, uh, yeah, that's a hilarious and great answer. <laughs> like, see, see my resume and you, you gotta, it's, even just as an indication of effort, you, you, you think you would, you think you would might not write that. Um, okay. Anyone else want to jump in? I'll jump in. This is, I wouldn't necessarily say this is the biggest missed opportunity, but, um, don't be a no-show at an event. Um, I would say, you know, a lot, a lot of people, you know, schools invest money in events that they're having and you sign up for them and, uh, you know, some people just don't show up and it's just, you know, not putting your best foot put, put forward. So it's not the biggest, bi biggest one I can think of, but um, I think there's a big no-show rate from what I understand in our industry. And I don't, it's, it's just, be thoughtful about what everybody signs up for and then actually show up if you can, unless something really, you know, Ill, an illness or something comes up. Right, right. Yeah, like an overall impression is, is, is important for sure. 